Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Katrina Raynor and my colleagues and I are inviting you as an expert in housing, aging, social justice or finance to come join a solutions focused workshop on housing for older women at risk of homelessness. We all know this is a growing problem and we know there are solutions. My colleagues and I are interested in bringing together people from across sectors to co-create and extend these solutions to support more people. Women over 55 are the fastest growing group of people experiencing homelessness in Australia. Additionally, Australia has the highest rate of poverty and deprivation for renting pensioners of any developed nation. And there are systemic social and economic factors that have resulted in greater numbers of older women experiencing homelessness, including the gender wage gap, experiences of family violence, and experiences of gender and age discrimination in the workforce. Beyond this, in Victoria, we have less social housing per capita than any other state or, Victor or territory in Australia. And we need to be thinking about this right now because it's a growing problem. We have falling rental affordability and increasing amounts of women reliant on New Start or JobKeeper, a payment which is well below the poverty line. And we also have an ageing population and falling home ownership rates that mean that the problem will be compounded in coming years. This is an unfolding crisis that has worsened with the impacts of COVID-19. The housing landscape consists of many interacting stakeholders that provide support to older women at risk of homelessness, from individual support all the way through to provision of large-scale permanent housing. These actors across sectors are working on the same problem, but they're not always connected to each other. A barrier to successful intervention is a lack of trust in relationships and familiarity between these stakeholders across sectors. This doesn't mean there aren't fantastic solutions emerging. Some existing housing types and solutions in Victoria include co-housing that's being developed in, in Dalesford by Link. Social housing, public housing and transitional housing that's available across the state. More innovative ways of thinking about house sharing and the use of family homes, supported living arrangements and residential care, and crisis accommodation. There's also a range of support services, including older women's mortgage uh, systems, legal services for those in rental debt, outreach programs, food and material support for those sleeping rough, and much more. There is capacity and willingness to contribute to scalable and systemic solutions but there's a lack of engagement between stakeholders and a lack of funds and policy scaffolding to allow things to scale. My colleagues and I are looking at solving this problem or part of this problem by strengthening connections between key organizations and individuals, highlighting successful solutions and recommending ways to grow that success. We're working on conducting a series of workshops. We're undertaking a survey and a social network analysis that looks at how different organisations relate to each other and we'll be producing a report for industry to share our findings. We're looking to you as members of this sector to help us improve the housing system by participating in our workshop and survey and shedding light on the full scope of programs, projects and solutions in the housing system in Victoria. We're looking to see what's working right now and what could work in the future. So come along and join us at a workshop, fill out our survey, the links are connected to this video and we'd love to see you in person.